Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 30th, and I wanted to review my 2021 goals. So, the goals that I made, or, you know, January 2021 for the whole January, or the whole year of 2021. <laughs> Pregnancy ring. Okay. I'll also do a 2022 goals video in a couple days. On New Year's Day, I'm planning on putting that one out. Uh, there's noises in the background because I'm a mom, and... My son's in there watching videos on his tablet. So, just ignore that. <laughs> also, messy because life. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I had one, two, three, four, five, six goals for last year. Uh, this year. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, what am I trying to do? Okay. I got to focus. 2021. So, I made six goals. I can't remember if I put that video out in December or January. But, uh, we're just going to run through them and see if I achieved them. <laughs> So my first one was to enter more items in the our county fair. Um, I've been entering items in our local county fair since 2016. That's the first year I did it. Um, and then in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, the fair was canceled, obviously. <laughs> and then 2021, we had a fair this year. So I did do that. I did enter a bunch of items in the fair and I won a bunch of ribbons. I will link that video. Uh, down below if you want to check it out. Uh, there's a couple videos. One is what I was entering and one is what I won <laughs> From the fair if you want to check those out if you haven't seen them, it's really cool uh, And if I can think about it, I'll link it up here, but I can't remember Which corner it'll pop up <laughs> But um, I did do that one. I can't remember off the top of my head how many items I entered But it was quite a bit because I had a clothes basket full of stuff. I know I entered toys and a sweater and hat and scarf You know, I entered all kinds of things um, it was a lot of fun. I love doing that every single year and I'm gonna, probably going to keep doing that. Maybe uh, 2022 won't be as much because I'm going to be busy with a new baby. But in 2016, I had a baby as well. <laughs> Jesse was born in May that year. And uh, our fair is in September, the beginning of September, yeah. And uh, he was four months old when we went to the fair to see what I won. We had him in a carrier and he was a little one. <laughs> so um, I think I could do it. I don't know if I'll be making, well, I already made my Christmas afghan, so I can enter that as my full-size afghan, because our fairs, the rules is it's got to be when the last fair ended to when the, for, the next fair starts, so anything that you make in between those times counts, so anything that I've made from September 2021 to September 2022 counts as uh, things you can put in your fair, and plus, like, I wouldn't be, um, I have a lot of integrity, so I wouldn't like lie, but I'm sure a lot of people do. And actually, on the paintings, <laughs> you can a lot of people sign their paintings, put and date it. If you look at them, a lot of them have way different years. <laughs> but um, I don't think they actually check to see how recent things were made. But um, I do always stick to that rule because I'm an honest person. <laughs> Anyways, I did that one. Woo! All right, my second goal was to use my stash yarn and buy less yarn. I think I did that really well. I actually didn't buy very much yarn at all this year. Uh, most of the yarn that I acquired throughout the year was either gifted to me from some of you guys or my husband. He bought me, he buys me some usually when I'm sick or something. Uh, he's done that a few times this year. Uh, I have bought some here and there, but for the most part, I've used my stash. And you can actually tell, like you, you probably can't tell, but I can tell <laughs> because there's like empty spaces and the yarn's not quite as smooshed up together. It's a little bit looser. So um, I'm pretty proud of that. But I've used a lot of my scrap balls to make like and groomies and things so I did that one too I think that was successful I did purchase some yarn but I didn't go crazy I never go crazy either I see people do these amazing yarn hauls where they buy like 50 skeins at one time and I would love to do that but I I'm the kind of person that I don't want it just sitting around not being used I like to buy yarn when I want to use it or if it's really pretty and I don't like want to have it and save it for a special project but uh, for the most part I just try to use what I have <laughs> so I did that I think I did that Okay, my third goal was to enter more cows, which are crochet alongs. I started off good. At the beginning of the year, I did start doing cows, but then I just kind of fell out of it. Mostly because I was so busy doing my own stuff for my channel that it was hard to keep up with all the other channels that were doing crochet alongs. Because I did start, I tried to start Setas Calendar Cow. I think I did one or two months of that. And then I tried to do the birthstone one. <laughs> and, um,. Uh, did I do any more? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I did many at all because I kept getting so busy with my own stuff for my channel, you know. So, uh, that, I'm going to say that's a fail because I, d I definitely didn't do that. But that's okay because 
So I'm making shoes. <laughs> Alright, this next one's a fail too. My fourth goal was to design some patterns. I only put out one pattern this year, and it was my polar bear holding a fish. <laughs> I put that out in January uh, 2021, and I had wanted to do one a, a month, so that would have been 12 patterns, but I just lost interest in it. Um, I Sometimes I get like um, the urge to design a pattern, and I'll start it, and I'll get it halfway done, and then I'll just lose interest in it. I actually have a few patterns that are like halfway written, amigurumis that I just uh, lost interest in. So maybe I'll finish them one of these days. But that was a fail for this year. I only put out one pattern. But again, that's fine. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> My last two goals were sewing related. So, um, cause I spent a lot of time sewing in not 2019 and 2020. Uh, way too much time. <laughs> like I was sewing pretty much every day to make bags for the shop, which was great because people were buying them and um, I enjoyed making them for people and selling them, you know, and picking designs that people loved and stuff. But I realized it was too much, especially with all my life stuff and then the crochet part. I was doing so much sewing, I couldn't crochet as much as I wanted to. So my goal for 2021 was to slow down on sewing and only sew three days a week. And I actually did that really well. <laughs> there were probably a few weeks where I did more than three days. But um, what I really did was cut down the time. Like I, I used to spend, like in 2019, 2020, I would spend some days like seven or eight hours sewing obviously you know i take breaks to use the bathroom and get a snack or whatever but i would just sit down and sew all day long and um that was good for production <laughs> but it wasn't good for like me um so i did slow down a lot so this this year i did successfully only sew like three or four days a week every other week um that's why my shop updates were kind of every two weeks because i was just sewing every other week and um all those days i would only spend like two to three hours sewing so I did cut that down a lot and I was still very productive. So I think it was all about organizing my time. I got better at doing that <laughs> this year. Uh, I haven't had a shop update since the beginning of December. That's just because I'm getting more and more pregnant and it's harder for me to have the energy to do anything. I got some bags uh, cut that I want to start working on, but I just don't know if I have the energy. <laughs> I might like, these are seven notion pouches. I might do that one day. And then there's 20 hook cases. Might work on them one day, you know, and just like slowly build up a little stash and then update. But if I do that, it will be into January before the shop updates. <laughs> but yeah, so I did do that goal. I was pretty proud of myself for doing that. And my last goal for 2021 was also sewing. And it was to put pockets in totes. <laughs> and I did do that. I learned how to do that earlier this year. And I made a bunch of big tote bags with pockets in them. Usually the littler ones, like the ones I have cut now, I don't put pockets in because they come with notion pouches. Um, these actually next ones won't <laughs> because I, I was using up scrap fabrics that I have but uh, I only put the pockets in the big totes but I did do that I made a whole bunch of totes with pockets in them so I did su successfully do that <laughs> so let's see here out of the six goals I had I did four and didn't do two <laughs> but that is okay because one designing patterns isn't always fun and it's really time-consuming and then after you design it, you have to make it multiple times to test a pattern out, plus take pictures of it, and it's just a process. And then the cows wasn't a big deal. I didn't mind not entering a bunch of cows because I was so busy doing my own things on my own channel. You know, I really amped up my videos this year. I've put out a lot of videos this year. I don't even know how many. <laughs> but um, I found that that was more fun for me than just participating in cows. And now I would be going over my 2022 goals in a couple days. And uh, there, I think there's six of them too, but there's some of them are different. I can't remember now, they're on my phone. <laughs> I'll have to look later. But yeah, so I think overall I did pretty good. I did pretty good because I, you know, four out of six is pretty good. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I did uh, accomplish a lot of things this year, crochet wise, sewing wise, and videos, you know, I put out a ton of videos. My channel grew a lot, which is awesome. But I don't ever, I don't really set that as a goal anymore. I did in the beginning, but um, like the numbers don't really matter to me that much. It's fun to see them go up, but I just want the community. So I love talking, some of y'all have been with me from the beginning. So I love like the communication of that. And uh, I'm not a big, it's not a big deal to me if I don't have 20,000 followers or subscribers, whatever. <laughs> um, I just like the people I have. And if any more come, that's great. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. I guess that's it. I didn't have any other goals written down. Usually I do a whole bunch. Actually I have a ton 
for um, 2022, but I split them up in categories. I have budget, personal, which is like health, um, work slash no catch name stuff, which would be the bag, the shops, updates, the sewing, the YouTube stuff, all that stuff. I have family goals, which we always do every year. And now I have kid goals since I'm gonna have two kids <laughs> this year. Um, and I might talk about some of them except the budget ones because that's private, you know, our money information is private. <laughs> But uh, I think I did talk about, well, that was my other channel before I deleted it. My personal channel that I deleted. Um, I did talk about the other goals on that channel. But I sat down the other day and was working on my yarning goals so I could share with you guys in a few days. But then I ended up doing the budget ones, the family ones, the personal ones, and the kid ones. Um, after all that, and I got it all written out. I was trying to do like a bullet journal type thing. And um, yeah, so I might share some of those too. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I, uh, I'm looking forward to 2022. I'm looking forward to having the baby. I'm looking forward to hopefully the year being better <laughs> for everybody, you know, the whole world. And yeah, I think things are going to be different at first because I'm going to be adjusting to having two kids. But I think things will pick back up probably around spring for us. And I think the shop updates will start coming back. So um, it still might be a little bit longer before I put more bags out, but they'll, they're coming. They'll be here eventually. And uh, I'll always be here on YouTube <laughs> and I'll be sharing all kinds of clips of um, crochet stuff and probably some sewing stuff and definitely family stuff because I know a lot of y'all uh, have been here long enough that we all feel like we're family so you seem you want to see my kids grow up and I don't mind sharing it <laughs> and I'm so excited to share baby June with you guys when she comes um, I don't know but yeah I'm looking forward to 2022 I look forward to every new year because I'm a positive person I always you know expect the best so um, but yeah, I guess I'm going to hop off here and get this edited for you guys. Sorry about all the noises, but uh, when everybody's home, it's loud. <laughs> so uh, I will see you guys later today for a vlog. So only two more vlogmases, today's and tomorrow's. And I will see you Jack guys tomorrow for my lucky project. I like to make a lucky charm type project every year. My one for last year, I don't know if you can see it. It's hanging right there. It's a sparkly shamrock and this year i'm making a ladybug well i already made it <laughs> but i'll share it with you guys um tomorrow in a video and then you can make you a lucky project if you want to and uh try i just make that so that I can, it's a reminder all year when i see it to uh be positive and you know to know that um there's always something positive even when something is really negative it is there's always something positive you know it's kind of like the silver lining quote and the one from dumbledore about how um well, how does it go? <laughs> I don't forgot. But it's, uh, even in the darkest times, there's, there's something. If one only remembers to turn on the light, that one. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways. Let's just all be positive. Because <laughs> your attitude has a lot to do with how people react to you and how things react to you. So, if you put out positive energy, you're going to bring in positive energy. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get this up. And I will be blabbing with you guys later today and tomorrow and probably up until the baby comes. <laughs> so if, if videos stop for a few days in a row, you, you're going to have to just assume that I'm in labor <laughs> or uh, at the hospital or something. But uh, if that happens, of course, I will try to keep you updated as much as I can. If I can't, I will have my sister do it because she knows how to um, get on YouTube and like do the community page and all that. I'll have you guys updated. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. I've been... Uh, no early labor signs or anything so so far so good but anyways if i disappear i'm just saying that's that's why <laughs> but i'll see you guys tonight bye guys